Fans were showing their goodwill before the game. Not on your sides, John Genovese joins us with that. John? Julie, pods like this one behind me are stationed all around Paul Brown Stadium. They're locked up now, but filled with toys. They'll go to help families in need, all thanks to a few Marines and thousands of generous fans. Show that pride. Show that Hude spirit. It's a different kind of mission for these Marines. Every entrance around the stadium, we've got, to, we've got people stationed around there. Stationed to serve more than 50,000 kids here at home. Boys for Tots. For 11 years, at least one game a season, Master Sergeant William Womack stands outside the gates at Paul Brown Stadium. We get a lot of thank yous for our service and then a lot of thank yous for doing this. He's part of a special unit, at times rallying Bengals fans and opponents in a separate competition off the field. To get more money and donations than the Steelers buckets over there. A lot of people actually forget their toys and they, they realize that we can take the monetary donation, so they they do that most of the time. Still, many people remember people like Marsha Mangine. She went out of her way bringing a Barbie with her from Kentucky. It's a good thing to do. There's lots of kids that need a toy for Christmas. On the surface, they're just dolls, plastic rings, maybe a few stacks of board games. But Womax knows firsthand what it all really means. Personally, I actually had a program similar to this when I was a child. My parents had to use it. So been able to give back and take care of those kids and those families that need it. That's just huge for me. And huge for the thousands of fans pitching in to help. A yearly mission to do for every kid what it did for him. When your parents tell you they don't have the money to get you something, and you will come down to the tree and there's stuff underneath the tree because someone was generous enough to donate, that's, that's phenomenal. Now we're told those pods will be picked up by tomorrow. The toys will be sorted by age and gender, then given to families in need. Last year, they collected more than 2,000 toys, around $25,000 in donations. Organizers this year won't know the final tally for a few days, but they say they're feeling good about beating those numbers this year. For now, reporting live, John Genevieve, C9, on your side. As they should. Thank you, John. Not on your side has also been busy for the past week collecting toys for children. We are happy to tell you more than 4,000 toys were donated to local girls and boys over the six past days through uh, Toy Team 9. We collected toys at Kroger stores from Westchester to Florence and from Delhi to Harrison. Thank you all who pitched in to help.